Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Cara Anton, and in today's video, I'm going to be turning myself into someone I've literally been told that I look like so many times now. Most of the time it's on TikTok, but I thought I would just give it a go, try and do the same makeup look. I did the same hair, well, sort of the same hair. I did follow her makeup tutorial, so it was as close as I could get. And then I'm also wearing the same dress that she has. And the person that is, is Hannah Renee. Uh, she is a literal queen. Queen. She's so pretty. But that is what I am doing in today's video. And the next clip, you will see me looking like a piece of garbage. It's not a good situation. If you'd like to see more from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below any videos you go ahead and see next. If you would like more videos like this, then just let me know and I can get that done for you. Or if you have any in general, then just let me know. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Mm. Okay, guys, it is time to get started and first of all she goes in with her eyebrows and they are completely different to mine she does that thing that people have been doing recently where they more or less have their tail cut off and then they extend it further out towards their hairline i do not know how this is going to look on me and i'm not going to shave it off um so i don't really i'm just going to flatten it down with concealer i believe she goes in with the abh brow pencil but i'm going in with the be perfect one in the shade charcoal literally don't know how i'm gonna look okay i think these brows either suit you or they don't she has quite defined eyebrows as well so i'm gonna do like a line and drag it out here a little bit oh my god and then she does the top bit as well I have to try and conceal all of that hair. I'm just going to quickly go and do the other eye. And then she doesn't actually go around her eyebrows using a concealer. She only does it on the bottom half. So that's what I'm going to do. For this, I'm going to take the Revolution Pro Full Coverage Concealer. Just because this is so thick. I'll literally cover anything. And then I'm just going to carve out my eyebrow. With my sponge and i'm just going to blend that all out also basically prepped my eyelids for the eyeshadow don't know how the eyeshadow is going to sit on top of my stumpy little eyebrows a video as i'm doing this and i can't do eyeshadow but she's doing eyeshadow okay so in the video she uses quite of an orangey tone so i'm gonna go in with the james charles mini palette um, and because she is going in with quite an orangey shade, I'm going to go in with this shade here. She just packs on the colour on the outer corner and really blends it inwards. She doesn't really drag it out. So I'm just going to pack that on. I'm just going to do circular motions to blend it out. Because my base is so wet right now, um, it's kind of taking some of the pigment away from the product and i know it's not the palette because literally this palette is so pigmented that focuses color on the outer corner a little bit as well just to deepen it up just because hers is a little bit darker on the outer corner then going in with a yellowish shade and sort of blending it above the orange go in with this shade here just because that will be way too bright for the look that she's going for um and i'm just gonna blend it above And sort of gone in with like a berry sort of deep brown purple i don't really know shade in with this shade here it literally looks so light on camera it looks pinky i'm really gonna focus on the outer corner first goes in with a black eyeshadow and she sort of like does a little flick oh that's what i'm gonna do if hannah renee does it i do it too in with the black shade and tiny bit of the brown shade and i'm just gonna stamp it on I can't do eyeshadow. I'm actually going to put some concealer and drag it upwards. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm not very good at this stuff, so, you know, it's all cool. We move on. Okay, and then four lashes. She goes in with quite a bold eyelash. Um, so that's what I'm going to do as well. I've tried to get the most similar ones possible. I don't really know how to show you guys, but mine are from Sosu. And I'm just going to stick these on quickly and just put on any mascara okay guys so now i have on the lashes and i love these lashes these are oh, 
they're just so beautiful um so that is the eyes done and the next step is actually really random so she goes in with a gradual tan um actually it's not that random because she did mention that her foundation is darker than her body and obviously mine is always the same so i'm actually going to gradual tan as well um at the beginning of the video she actually sprayed her body um so that's what i'm gonna do she just used a hydrating mist so i'm just gonna grab my be perfect mitt and i'm just gonna oh squeeze a tiny bit look how shimmery it is and this is just gonna give me a glow as well which is nice just around my body yeah that's nice it's just giving me a nice quick glow and a bit of color there we go so it just looks like ever so slightly more golden actually just doing another layer because my foundation is always so dark and she goes in with the charlotte tilbury cream but i don't actually have that um for skincare i'm gonna do what i normally do because i get quite dry skin so it'll be more beneficial for me uh, go in with this eye cream this sent in pr the other day and look at that packaging it looks amazing it's the retinol eye cream sorry guys i haven't really been showing you what i use um what products i'm using but i'm more just trying to get the look of hannah renee and then for foundation i'm going to be going in with the giorgio armani foundation in the shade number six and then also the l'oreal foundation in number 120 vanilla so i'm just going to pop four squirts on the back of my hand and then of the l'oreal one i'm just going to pop in two i like to do three but i'm just going to paint this onto my face she next goes in with a cream bronzer so i'm just using the huda beauty one and i'm just going to blend that out the huda beauty tantor is literally the best um honestly couldn't recommend it enough so I'm just popping it on my forehead and I've also popped it on my cheekbones. And one thing I noticed about her, she doesn't connect it along here, her bronzer. Um, she likes to keep it quite focused in areas. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, and then she goes in with quite a light concealer. Um, like I said, she does have a really sleek effect. It just always looks so, whew, and oh, so pretty. Um, but I'm going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. Mine's in the shade Fair 15W. Pop it along here. And I'm actually going to carve out the eyeshadow look that I did with it. Then I'm just going to do the same on the other side. I'm just blending this out now. Okay, and then she goes in with a loose powder. My under eyes right now are so bright. Um, so hopefully this settles it down a bit. I know she does have a bright under eye, but at the same time, I feel like I might have gone a little bit overboard. Um, so I'm just going to use this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I mean, that didn't work. Oh, all that brightness has gone up from under my under eye. Can you look at that powder, what it's done? I'm just going to set my other under eye. Is it all of that brightness under my eye has literally just vanished. I'm actually going to go in with this fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this white shade, which could be a little bit scary, but I kind of want a brighter under eye. See, as you can see, that has just made it a little bit brighter. Um, and that is a sort of look that she normally goes for. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then she just goes in and finishes off the eye look. She uses the same sort of colours that she used on the top. So that's exactly what I will do. I'm just going to speed through this bit quickly. I feel like my eyes are about to water, which is very annoying. She goes in with a powder bronzer and she uses the Fenty Beauty one, which I have. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in it. And she doesn't like to do too much of this um, just because she felt like the contour was enough. Um, so I'm just going to lightly dust her. Does she use blusher? I'd be really sad if she doesn't. I'm just sort of pressing it on because I don't want it to come up here. Let's see what she does next. She has such a defined jawline. Quickly try and make that illusion. So I'm just going to. Oh, that was a lot. Look at that difference. Oh! That looks so much more snatched look at that snatchness oh my god i mean her jawline ain't that high oh yeah sissy sissy that is really pretty i 
do a few little bits just to get more of her face shape um because at the end of the day i'm trying to look like her as much as i'm trying to wear the same makeup as her Then for her main lip colour, it's quite a light pinky nudey shade. Um, and then she puts a gloss on top, but I actually have this Morphe Times Jeffree Star um, mini lip gloss. And it's like a light pinky nudey shade. Um, so I might as well just use this. Kill two birds with one stone, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to pop this one on. Is that similar? And it's time for setting spray. Okay, so she then goes in with a glowy setting spray. So I'm just going to go in my pixie one. And obviously just going to spray my face. Drown in it. Guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Do you think that I am Hannah Renee? If I just come a little bit closer, you guys can have a little looky but next i'm actually not going to leave it there i'm going to be a little bit extra and i'm going to do a hairstyle that she does and i'm going to put on an outfit that she has and that i have um so yeah i've got to do her hair wasn't i i don't know why i'm watching her video <laughs> i feel like this is the deal breaker between me and hannah the queenie um so i need to try and copy her hairstyle uh, i'll put it on screen of the one that i'm trying to copy Hopefully it works out but it looks like this part of her hair here is curled but not from the root so i'm gonna give and it's like quite a tight curl so i'm gonna hold this here for a little bit oh yeah hair's definitely gonna frazzle off yeah not coming off yeah love that love that love that ow can you see that smoke <laughs> Hers is more bouncy. Let me try with a smaller section. How did she get her so curly and voluminous? Let's try this bit again. My hair's definitely going to be frazzled. Get out! All of her hair looks really curly. So, as I just got a delivery, and it was from Tatcha over one of their products so i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video when i've done everything i'm so excited i'm so excited and i just can't hide better not singles i might get copyrighted because you know my singing skills are up there probably think i'm the real do i should probably section my hair let me section my hair right so i'm just going to curl my hair as big and bouncy as i can get it I really need a curling wand. She even wanted to send me one of their products. Like that literally blows my mind. Like I've tagged them in my pictures ever since I've started my whole Instagram thing. Um, it's literally crazy. Now they actually wanted to send me something. I was literally there like, what the hell? Like, like I've had DMs saying, oh, like, how do you want PR lists and everything like this? You generally... As long as it takes, you just have to tag them in your pictures. Like Tatcha, I've been doing that for over a year now. So I really have been doing it for a long time. I just can't believe they even reached out to me, to be honest. I'm so grateful for it. Also, after this, just going to put a hairspray through my hair. Right, so I'm now just going to quickly rush through and finish off my hair. Um, just because otherwise the video will be quite long. So I'll be back when I've done that. Right, guys. So I've just finished off doing my hair. I honestly love this makeup look, though. Like, it's so nice. It's a bit different for me. And I feel like it's, like, proper glam. Like, compared to what I normally wear. Like, I feel like when you have such a bright under eye, um, eyeshadow, everything. Like, you just look so much more glam. Uh, so it's now time for the dress. At the moment, I just have, like, this black Femi Lux dress on. But I'm going to put on... The dress that we both have. Okay guys, so this is the dress that we both have. This is my favourite dress from Ode Polly. I've said this for so long now. Um, so this is the one I've seen her wear in her Ode Polly video. So I'm going to pop this on now. Okay guys, so I now have 
the dress on i am obsessed with this dress i love it this is what it looks like Actually, i'm gonna try and mimic her picture so right so she's got her hair back she has a necklace on her okay guys so this is the finished look um so this is me trying to turn into hannah renee um so like i said i do get loads of comments saying that we look literally the same um i wish we looked the same i wish i looked like her so yeah this is everything um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i really enjoyed filming it um and getting the look done i think it was just so interesting to do it that's everything for today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe and comment down below any videos you guys would like to see next would like more videos like this and just let me know further ado i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.